Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today and show you this iridescent glitter stiletto nail set that I made. Um, this is the old set that I had on. I'll go ahead and leave an i card up above if you want to see how I did that. And you can see here I had some, it wasn't really chipping on the end of the nail. It was because I was doing someone else's nails and hit it with a file. So I just started with removing it and starting with fresh hands. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put a form on and you'll see in a little bit here I'm putting the form on my index finger but throughout most of this I actually worked on my middle finger so you'll see that here shortly. So I'm just using the prep and dehydrate to make sure my nails are clean and dehydrated and then I'm going to go in with my primer so that the poly gel bonds nicely to the nails. It's the ASP Extra Strength Primer. Then we're going to use the McCart Poly Gel and Base Gel. Now this is a pearl pigment that I'll use for the chrome and some glitter acrylic that I made. Starting with that base gel, I did go ahead and put this on all of the nails and I wish I would have done them one at a time once I had the forms on because it does leave that sticky layer. So take my advice and do the base gel one at a time if you're going to work with forms. So then I went ahead and gave that a cure and here this is where I was talking about you can see I did that index finger with the form but then I ended up showing you guys starting on the middle finger because that index finger turned out kind of funky um, so just starting new with the middle one. So I put on that natural pink color from McCart and just blending that down from the cuticle onto the natural nail bed and then feathering it out onto the form. I'm doing two types of nails that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you all of the nails. I'm just going to show you the two different types. For this one, it's going to be the glitter and the other one will be the chrome. So here you can see I put the natural, like I said, on the nail plate, then went ahead and pinched it after I had cured it for five seconds, then did another slight pinch and cured it again for 10 seconds. I do two rounds of pinching so that way I don't end up smushing or denting the poly gel. And I don't wanna do one round after curing for 10 seconds cause it can be too brittle and then it doesn't pinch correctly. And I do want it to have that nice streamlined thin nail look. So that's the way I do it for that effect. I also need to apologize. This video is really, really shaky and I tried a different setup, so I, I apologize it's like that. I'm not going to do that again. So here you can just see that I'm taking that glitter acrylic mix that I made. I made it from three different types of glitters and then a clear acrylic and a shimmer acrylic. And I'm just laying that into the uncured clear poly gel. I'm using that mix to cover the clear poly gel stiletto tip. And then I'm going to feather it or ombre it back onto the natural pink that I had laid down on the nail bed area. Then once that's laid down, I do go ahead and clear cap the entire thing so that the glitter is embedded nicely into the nail. Now, <laughs> these nails ended up being way too long and I had to file them down a ton. Um, like I said, I'd never done an, a stiletto nail before, so I wasn't sure what length I was going to go with, but I ended up filing this down a lot. So a lot of this glitter ended up getting filed off, um, or I guess out of the nail. So I'll show you later on how I fix that. But basically, if I would have done it correctly the first time and not gone too long with the nail, I would have wanted to make sure and you would want to make sure that all of the glitter is covered nicely with that clear cap and that you are getting as even of a layer as possible to cut down on any finish filing and to make sure that that glitter lays nicely and you don't have to file off too much. So now I'm just showing you the second type of nail that I did. I did this one entirely with that natural pink because we're going to go over it with the kind of pearlized chrome pigment that I had. So for this one, a lot of people when they lay down their poly gel, they start the cuticle and they work to the tip. Now for my first layer, I found when I do it that way, by the time I get to the tip and I come back to the cuticle, 
it's pulled away by more than a few millimeters because of all of the brushing and pulling and patting down at the tip. So for my first layer, I actually work backwards. I start at the tip, press that down. Then once I get to the natural nail bed, I've got um, kind of what you could see there is kind of like that blob, um, which I mostly leave for the apex. And then I just feather the edges nicely at the cuticle. That way, when I go in for the second layer, I don't have to add a lot of the apex. I don't have to get as close to the cuticle. Basically, it's just smoothing it out and adding a little bit more thickness to all of the areas that I need it on, especially that tip. So once I've gone in and flash cured for 20 seconds, I go ahead and give it the pinch that we talked about and remove it from the form. And then I'm just going in with that second layer, making sure that I feather it out nicely around the cuticle and blend it out all over the nail. Now I do go ahead with that 20 second cure instead of just a brief flash cure. I do this as well before I give it a clear coat on the glitter nail, just so that I can be sure that the underneath is already hard enough that it's not going to disturb anything when I go in with this second layer. Now I use a 70% strength alcohol because I found that 99 or 90% was too strong and it kind of liquefied my poly gel really quickly. I also found that 50% was kind of too weak so I go for that middle ground of that 70% and it works great. Now what you just saw me do was take some from the other side of the nail because I found a little gap in the right side of the nail. So I took some from where I found there was a lot and put it to where I found that there wasn't enough. That way I didn't have to go back and add in any more. So you just wanna make sure that there's not too much alcohol on your brush either because if you do have too much alcohol or a percent of strength that's too high, you'll end up with that liquefied poly gel and it won't set nicely. Here I'm just showing you after I finish filed, you can see that I was missing the glitter on the sides. Just like I was telling you before, um, I had to file these down because when I saw the length of them and my husband saw the length of them, we were like, holy cow, it's too long. So I filed off so much and it ended up being that there wasn't enough glitter on there. So in order to fix that, I just had to go in with a layer of base gel since that is sticky. And then with that uncured, I go through and pat on that glitter acrylic mix some more. Now when I started to pack this on, I went in with a wet brush that I had dipped in alcohol. And I found that the glitter was kind of balling up and like rolling off. So I wet, wiped off my brush to make sure it was nicely dry. And then I just went through and packed that glitter onto the nail tips. I do also make sure that after I pack the glitter on and give it a 10 second cure, I brush off the excess so that there's not a ton on there when I go in with a second coat of base gel. And then I pack on some more. I did this because when I did the first layer, it wasn't thick enough or packed on enough. Basically, the small pieces of glitter were well enough. There were there were enough of them on there, but the bigger chunks of glitter were not on there nicely. There wasn't enough of them for me. So when I went on with the second coat of glitter, I just made sure that I was picking up those bigger pieces and placing them on the nail where I wanted them to be. Now, when you just saw me wipe off my nail, I just had a lot of that base coat on there. So I just wanted to make sure it wasn't bulky. So again, we're making sure we brush those off before I go through and add the top coat on. When I do the top coat, I do one layer of top coat and you wanna make sure that it's nice and thick, but I still found I had pretty lumpy nails. So I could have just gone in with a second coat of top coat, but what I did was I took a buffer and I lightly buffed over the nails until they were fairly smooth. Then I went through with a second layer of top coat and that gave me a beautiful finish, nice amount of shine. I still go through and cap them once more with top coat, but at least this way they were nicely smoothed. And again, I was just brushing off the edges to make sure there was no excess bulk. Now I'm just going ahead and putting the no wipe top coat onto the pink nails so I can start with that chrome pigment. So you just wanna make sure you're using a no wipe top coat. And then I kind of wiped off the edges of the nails to make sure they weren't gonna be too bulky. Now this chrome powder that I'm using is called Perfect Pearls in the shade Pearl. And it's actually meant for crafting. So you can get it at any craft store. 
I don't have any chrome powders, but I did have this from when I used to craft. So I figured I'd give it a shot, and it worked really nicely. So you do it the same way as any other chrome powder. I got the eyeshadow applicator. I dipped it in the chrome powder, and then I just pack it onto the nails. Once I've got it patted and packed all over the nails, then you can go through and buff it off. So you can see it gave it a nice, beautiful shine. And I actually went through, gave all the nails a top coat, and then realized it wasn't as pigmented and opaque as I wanted it to be. So once I go through, give all my nails a top coat, had them cured and ready to go, then I went through with a second layer of that chrome powder. Now with all of my nails, I always do two layers of top coat. So that's why you see I had already done the glitter nails before with the top coat, and now I'm doing them again. I always do one layer to seal it all in and a second layer to make it nicely shiny. So I had gone through, top coated the glitter nails for the second time, and that was when I saw, like I said, that those chrome nails weren't what I wanted them to be. So here's where you see me going back in with the second layer. All chrome pigments that I have ever seen look different when you layer them. So that second layer can always change the look up. So that was what I did. Here you can just see I'm choosing out the gems that I wanted to use, and I am just gonna put gems on those two chrome nails. Now the way that I secure them to the nail is by taking some poly gel and you lay it down on the nail. You wanna make sure you use a small amount of alcohol, otherwise you'll have to wait for it to evaporate before you can move on. So once you get that poly gel laid down, while it still has not been cured, you go in and put on that no wipe top coat. This will ensure that you have that nice thickness of the poly gel, but the top coat will keep it from being sticky and you've got the whole nail nicely shiny so you don't have to worry about doing the top coat on the whole nail after those gems are on. So now with both of those still uncured, you go through and add your gems. They're gonna sink right into that poly gel and the top coat's gonna help to secure them. Like I said, make sure that poly gel isn't sticky. Now once I get them secured into the gel, I do go ahead and give them a flash cure for 10 seconds and then I move on to the next nail. And I want to make sure that I always check it from both angles, my view, backwards, from the sides. I want to make sure that they look right in all of the angles so that way once they're secure they're not coming off. So you want to make sure that you've got it looking right before you decide to move on. And I just used some iridescent gems um, of different sizes. And that middle one in the center um, that's kind of bigger, it was a different look than the other ones. It was more pearlized. So really like the way that that ended up turning, turning out. And then once I've got them all secured and flash cured for 10 seconds, I go in and I take this tiny brush. I go through and coat it with the top coat and I go around the gems one more time just to make sure that they are nicely secured and they all have that little lip around them and I just want to make sure that's covered because that way you'll have no snagging at all when you run your hands through your hair. And that's it guys. This is the finished product. I really hope you like it. I had so much fun making them. Um, please let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye!